And welcome to the Municipal de Butarque Stadium here in Madrid, the Spanish capital. I'm Derek Ray here in the commentary position and joining me will be Lee Dixon. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It's Leganes and they take on Real Oviedo. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Lovely to be here. I can't wait for this one. A nice quick tempo from both sides will be ideal for me. Let's hope we get that. Should be a great game. The starting 11 then for Leganes. Well, as a team, they do have their stylistic preference and it really is all about trying to put the opposition under pressure, making sure that they don't compose themselves. Lee, do you expect to see more of that in this game? Yeah, pretty much. They love to press high, don't they? It's their preferred style of play, winning the ball high up the pitch. It certainly benefits their strikers. They're very good at it. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. A 4-4-2, but with a diamond lead. Yeah, there's four players in midfield, but really only three. The two wide players will stay wide and help the full-backs. There's one just sitting in front of the back four, but the number 10 is slightly advanced. He will provide the support for the strikers. Así se anima Municipal de Butarque. El partido ya comienza. And the match begins. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. And an effective clearance. That is how to apply the pressure. It's a weighted pass. And he might be in here. That is top-notch goalkeeping. He had to reach in with his hand. Yeah, it's all about reading the pace of the ball and the player's feet. When do I go down? When do I strip the ball? Did a brilliant job then. Andres Martin. And he's made headway. There it is. The opening goal of this match. And what a start they've made. Well, we can take another look at this now, and he's connected so well with it, generating a lot of power, and the keeper just can't react in time, look. One nil then. Munoz. He continues his run. Well, he's lost it. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, it is a significant milestone for the manager. He brings up a century of matches in charge of the club, Lee. Wow, 100 games already. I can remember his first game as well. Seems like five minutes ago. Well, sat up here every week with you, Derek, makes time fly by, I can tell you that. Couldn't hang on to it. Losing possession. Bua. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. End product or not. Cutting the ball back and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Well, he'll be thanking his lucky stars that the referee settled for a verbal warning rather than a booking. Saving 
Hendricks. Valentin Rosier. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Well, they might be onto something. Well, nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Erasso. This might be ideal for the counter. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? That's a useful cross. Absolutely nothing wrong with the counter-attack. Just a shame about the finish lead. But it just show you what they're capable of to hit the team with pace and power. It just lacked a little bit of composure, Derek. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball. But to their... And he's broken free! Well, they can say a big thank you to the goalkeeper. That was inspirational. Well, that's as good as a goal at the other end. Brilliant save from the keeper. Getting in there to take it away. Real danger. A real opening now. And a goal! They've increased their lead. And they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, when we see this again, it is a wonderful effort, a solo effort. Got to question the defenders. They just back off him, and he takes full advantage. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, his players have followed his every command and some. The coach must be delighted. It's going their way, 2-0. Kravitz. It's with Takehiro Tomiyasu. Gaku Shibasaki. Erasso has it. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Lost possession. Sanchez breaking at pace. And he read it superbly. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Sangali. So there goes the half-time whistle. It is an acceptable scoreline from the point of view of the visitors. They find... The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. And not cleared away properly. Oh, and he puts away the second chance. Goalkeeper error. Here we can take a look at it again. I'm sure the coaching staff will too. Just not good enough, you have to say that. He spilled it right into the danger zone. And at this level, you're always going to be punished. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. It's with Luis Pereira. They've won back possession. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? A more exciting La Liga action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Leganes, and they take on Athletic Bilbao. Oh. Yeah, I'm predicting a cracker there. Both teams will have a real go at each other, I'm sure. It's with Luis Pereira. It's with Kevin Bua. Promising looking ball. Can he take the chance? It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. 
Well, here it is again. The through ball is perfectly timed. It causes havoc. But I have to say after that, the keeper doesn't cover himself in glory. Near post, left exposed, and he's punished. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Sangali going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Well, Leganes certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession, but they have to create more, they have to be more positive. The final third play has been slow, too predictable. Now well, they're on the scent of something positive. And whipped into the box. And still danger here. And the corner has been given. Well, listen to that roar, Derek. They need a goal for sure, but can they get it from this corner? So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Real danger. And it was a very good-looking move, but alas, no end product. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Perfect tackle. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Well, an honest assessment would be that he hasn't really been on top of it. Chance to finish. A goal. And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. Well, here's the replay, Derek. A good, strong ball into the box. And then the finish couldn't be simpler, really. Given far too much time and space inside the box, and he doesn't even have to get up in the end. Just nonchalantly heads it past the keeper. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Sangali. Good movement. Won it back. Well, here's one for you to look forward to. The first leg of the Europa League round of 16 tie on EA TV. It's Real Oviedo against RB Leipzig. Yeah, looking forward to watching that one, Derek. Sometimes first legs can be cagey affairs, especially when you're down to the last 16. Nieto. Sanchez. A really sumptuous ball. In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, as we see again here, the damage is started with a beauty of a through ball. And because he's on his own, he collects himself and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. And only two minutes remaining here. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Maikon. Gaku Shibasaki. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors, Lee. Well, Derek, goals were always going to be the order of the day, and they didn't disappoint, did they? Playing against this defence, though, probably flattered them a little. But nonetheless, a comfortable win in the end. Well done.